I'm going to show you how your property tax is calculated for your residential property in Ontario and how it changes with time. Property tax is a mandatory contribution you must make to the government for the services that they provide, such as police, waste management, road maintenance, parks, and so on. Road maintenance, road maintenance, road maintenance. How is your property tax calculated? Your property value is assessed every four years for tax purposes and there's two ways your property taxes can change. Here's the formula. So on the numerator, we have the total amount of tax that the government collects for the services that they're providing. So on the denominator, we have to sum all the values of all the properties that are assessed in the city. This gives us the tax rate, which you can then multiply by your home's appraised value to get the total amount of property tax that you have to pay throughout the year. Suppose there are only three houses in this neighborhood and they're worth $250,000, $350,000 and $400,000 and the government needs to collect $10,000 for the services that they provide. Now if we add up all the property values of all the houses in the neighborhood, which is only three here, we're going to get a total of $1 million. If we divide the total tax that the city needs to collect, which is $10,000 here, and divide that by the sum of all the houses in the neighborhood, we're going to get a tax rate of 0.01 or 1%. Now that we have the tax rate, we can multiply this tax rate by the appraised value of each of the houses in the neighborhood, which will get us the amount of property tax that each house owes, which will be $2,500, $3,500, and $4,000 respectively. The higher the property value, the more property tax you will have to pay. Here's an example where property values increase but the property tax doesn't change. Suppose all three houses in the neighborhood went up in value and are now worth 10% more. Suppose the three houses, houses A, B and C are now worth $275,000, $385,000 and $440,000. In this case, the sum of all the property values in the neighborhood add up to $1.1 million. And if the city hasn't changed the amount of tax that they collect, which is $10,000, that brings our tax rate down to 0.009 or 0.9%. So if we multiply this new tax rate with the increased property values, we're going to get the exact same amount of property tax as before. So in this example, an increase in property value proportionally in the neighborhood didn't increase the amount of property taxes that you owe. Here's an example of when houses in the neighborhood increase their property values at different rates and the amount of property tax you owe changes. Now let's assume house A went up in value by 100% because it was demolished and rebuilt, while house B and C only went up in value by 10%. The house prices are now $500,000, $385,000, $440,000, and the sum adds up to $1.325 million. Assuming the city still charges $10,000 in taxes and the total sum of all the property values are now adding up to $1.325 million, that gives us a tax rate of 0.0075 or 0.75%. House A pays $3,773, which is a 51 increase from $2,500. That's crazy. House B pays $2,905, which is actually a 20.5% decrease from the $3,500 that they paid before. Wow. House C pays $3,321, which is an actual 17% decrease from the $4,500 that they paid before. That's nice. Nice. So as you can see, House A had a big increase in property tax because its value increased at a faster rate than all the other houses in the neighborhood. So the next time someone builds a really nice fancy house in your neighborhood, you should be excited about paying less property tax. The last example is when the city increases the amount of tax that they need. Let's go back to our first example where the houses were worth $250,000, $350,000 and $400,000 in the neighborhood and the city needed $10,000 in the services that they provided. With the tax rate of 1%, the property tax that each of these houses owed was $2,500, $3,500 and $4,000. Now let's say the city decides to build a brand new highway and the total amount of taxes they need to collect increased from $10,000 to $20,000. Wow. 
If we plug in this new tax amount into our formula, we're going to see that our tax rate has doubled from 1% to 2%, which means that the property taxes that these houses owe now is $5,000, $7,500, and $8,000. That highway better be worth it. How does the property tax that you owe change over time? Once your property is reassessed and the amount of tax that you owe increases, your tax bill won't see that increase immediately. The increase in your property tax is introduced gradually over the course of four years called the phase in value. Suppose your property tax is $4,000 and after the reassessment, the property tax is now $5,000. That's a thousand dollar increase in your property taxes, but you're not going to be paying that all at once. Your property tax bill is going to increase at a rate of $250 each year. That means in year one, you're only going to be paying $4,250. And it's going to go up by that amount every year until you're paying $5,000 on your fourth year. Now, if your property tax decreased after the reassessment, that change will be applied immediately. So if you went to $4,000 from $5,000, you're going to see $4,000 in the next year immediately. The phase in value is only applied on increases, not decreases. Thanks for watching. I hope you had a great time learning about the way property taxes are calculated in Ontario. If this video helped you, please hit the like button so that others like you can find content like this. Tell me in the comments below what you think about the way the property taxes are calculated in Ontario. Hit the subscribe button so you can get more content like this in your YouTube feed.